figured out what I will be doing today. I just thought it would be a nice challenge to try and draw or paint every day for seven days something in my sketchbook or digitally or anything. I just had to not think too much about, you know, if I want to paint this or that and try to make it more flowy. So that's what I tried to do for <clears throat> seven days. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what I did and try and talk a little bit about it. So the first ones I did, actually the first one was this one. I even wrote down like day one. So yeah, that's the first one. And then the second one was this. So that's a spread and I did the flower with the face smiling thing on day one and then these ones that remind me of cotton on day two and I basically with the first one I didn't want to make like super pressure like oh this is the first drawing of the first day so I just did whatever I wanted and I came up with these flowers and then on the second day I got these pale acrylic colors so I used them on the flowers like around here I also used this blue uh, and the pink and I wanted to try them out so I, de I did those flowers and this blue I actually got a lot of blue left to use so on the next day I got that blue and I did this simple like illustration so yeah I think this one is like the most uninspiring one that I did because I just didn't want to waste the blue uh, paint but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do so I thought I'm gonna draw a ladybug why not I like ladybugs so yeah that was day three and to be honest it was a very busy draining week so I think on day three I just had like zero energy to do it so I just thought I'm gonna do this but the first drawing of the first day I don't really like it a lot I think it's okay but the cotton one I think it looks cute I like it so out of these three this is the one I like the most and then on day four um, I did a painting I just woke up with the idea that I wanted to do a large painting, a large landscape painting. I was feeling very inspired, so I thought, okay, day four is going to be... Um, I was on a day off, so day four is going to be just for this large painting. And at first I was really hating it, like the process was just awful, because my goal for that painting was to focus just on colors and shapes and not exactly to do a realistic drawing so i was trying to study that and i thought i was messing it up all over but with the finished the painting i actually do like it i like the colors and i think it looks better than what i thought it was going to to look and yeah i'm actually quite proud of it um even though i hated it process and on day I think we're going on day five yeah on day five I did a digital drawing 
which I tried to record the whole process, but I don't know what I did on my computer. It just recorded a tiny little bit of the process. I'm gonna put it anyway in here for you to see, but I will just show you the final illustration I did. And that's like my favorite of all the drawings and paintings I did throughout the seven days. This illustration is my favorite. I shared it on Instagram even before I um, uploaded this video because I was just so proud of it. Um, basically I was at work and I had this idea of a simple doodle thing. This ghost, I've been drawing it a lot, especially on digital art. I've just been doing a lot of ghosts lately and I thought it would be nice to have one in the middle of the field just surrounded by flowers. So that was like my initial sketch. And I did it very quickly with a pencil just for me to not forget what I wanted to do. And when I got home, I went straight into that illustration and I spent the next three hours or something just doing it. And once it's it was over, I was like, oh, I really like these colors. That's exactly what I was going for. I wanted these retro vibes with the colors. And it took me a while to get there, but I think I did. And from what I wanted out of that illustration, I really, really enjoy it. And I think it looks very nice. So that's my favorite one of all the, all the paintings I did throughout the seven days. That one is my favorite. So, yeah. Next day, I did this one. Yeah. Next day I did this one. So we are on day five. Yeah. So with this one, I've also been into painting and drawing mushrooms and cats and stuff. So this one is actually inspired by a drawing I saw on Pinterest. So I looked at it and I thought, oh, that's really cool and I like the colors. So I drew this one with pencils and yeah so it was inspired on something else but i i like it it looks okay it was a lot of work to do it with the pencil because the pencil kept breaking and i was getting frustrated but yeah i finished it at night and i actually think it looks okay um i thought the cat would look different but i think i like it i wanted to go with like mystical vibes and i think with the pencil it didn't really go that way, so I should have used uh, uh, maybe gouache or something just to make it a little bit like a medium that I control better and I like it better. But I chose to go with pencils and I think that's okay. So, yeah. The last one that I did on day 7 is just a moth illustration. I also looked up on Pinterest some moth illustrations to inspire myself and then I played with colors that um, I just liked, not exactly realistic or anything, just to have fun. And yeah, I've been into painting and drawing those kinds of things lately, like a lot of mushrooms and a lot of moths and ghosts and um cats i've been into drawing cats lately so yeah i think just as a recap of everything these seven days of non-stop painting and drawing were a little bit draining just because i matched it with a very uh very troubled week where I had this schedule where it was hard to like paint and draw, so I was trying to do everything all at once, also recording something else that has nothing to do with the challenge, so it was a little bit draining combining all of it, but at the same time it was good that I did like the flowy process and I was just like, I had an idea or I looked at something and I would go straight ahead and do it, I wouldn't waste any time thinking like, oh is it worth it or am I gonna do it? well because sometimes I have that thought in my head like for a second I think oh I can't do that it's too complicated or I can't do that it's gonna turn out bad and it's not like a healthy way of looking at it so I think this challenge since I was really trying not to 
overthink about anything, it really helped me to analyze that insecurity and prove to myself that it doesn't really make sense to think that way and if I don't do it, even if I'm bad, if I don't do it, I'm not gonna, you know, practice and be better. So it's a little bit um, stupid. It all has to do with like anxiety and stuff and it's, it doesn't make sense, I know, but it was good to have like a, um, like a, a good practical example of how it does not make sense because with my brain, I usually have to like do a practical thing in order for my anxiety and security be like, you're wrong. And where I go like, you are all wrong and I can do this. So yeah, it really helped in that sense. So I would say it was a very good experience for that specific problem, it, it issue that I have, but I, sh I should have done it in a more peaceful week. <laughs> so I think that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, it was just to be the challenge, but I already have another video um, scheduled. I'm just editing all the footage so I have it ready and I won't um, uh, take so long to upload a video because I wanted to upload this um, earlier, but I couldn't. That's okay. But I already have one scheduled and Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you did, comment down below, say something. What was your favorite? Did you like like any of the paintings I did? Have you done this challenge yourself? What you think is good? So just let me know your thoughts and I will see you very soon.